Hi, this is John Layfield from LayfieldReport.com. Sign up, get your newsletter. This brought to you by LayfieldReport.com for all your news. I'm going to explain to you today why both sides are so wrong on this budget and why it's impossible to balance this budget through either spending cuts or through tax increases. It's very simple. I went on the Office of Management and Budget by the White House. You can do the same thing. Go on Office of Management and Budget, go into Budget, go into Budget again, go into Summary Tables and go to S1 and S5 and you can see the exact same thing that I'm going to tell you right now. I wanted to get exact numbers, not allegations by either side. So here's what happens. Fiscal year 2012, the United States brings in $2.469 trillion. That's an important number, $2.469 trillion. We spent almost $3.8 trillion. So that's the deficit, $1.3 trillion, the annual deficit. And people are saying, well, we can get there by spending cuts. Wrong answer. You see, you could cut out the military completely the Pentagon, all the departments, we still don't have a balanced budget, and here's why. We have mandatory spending, things we have promised to do, like Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and welfare, that account for $2.25 trillion. We have another mandatory expense, that is interest on our debt that accounts for $225 billion. Add those two together, you get $2.477 trillion. Eight billion more than before the government spends a dime. You could not only bring the troops home from Afghanistan, you could not pay them tomorrow. You could shut down the Pentagon. You could shut down all federal salaries, all departments, and we still run through mandatory expenses an $8 billion deficit. So can we get there through tax increases? Because we can't get there through spending cuts. Because if you shut down the entire government, we're still running an $8 billion deficit. No, you can't be that stupid. Now, say you go back to the Clinton era level rates, okay? Increase 4% on everybody. Here's what happens. Last year, 2012, $1.165 trillion came in through personal income tax. You could double that. That is increased taxes 100% on every individual in the United States that pays taxes. And you're still running a deficit. And that is increasing taxes 100%. We can't get there through either side. Now, we're projected in the year 2022 to have a $23 trillion deficit, a $5.8 trillion outlying expense. But we can deal with that at a different time. The problem right now is we don't need marginal reform. We need tax reform. We have a 72,000 page IRS manual. Raising it 4% here or cutting it 4% there does nothing. We have a corporate tax rate that's the highest in the world. And you're gonna have those that are argue, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nobody, no, the, the, the effective tax rate's 23, 24%, it's not that high. Really, you know who pays that? People who have for decades, companies, been able to buy off politicians. So the small and medium-sized businesses can't afford to pay off these politicians. Therefore, they're the ones that pay the highest corporate tax rate in the world. We have to overhaul the entire tax system. Now, when you talk about food stamps, you're talking about almost 50 million Americans on food stamps. When you're dealing with the issue of why are we paying out all these food stamps, that's not the issue. The issue is why are almost 50 million Americans in poverty? The issue is not why is a guy getting 99 weeks unemployment and when do we cut him off? The, Problem is, why can that guy who's searching for a job for 99 weeks not find one? What we need is structural reform to entitlements. Entitlements can be good. Social Security, 50% of single recipients get 90% of their, of their pay, of their income from Social Security. We've eradicated poverty. I'm not talking about doing away with anything. What I'm talking about is you have to reform it where you those that we promised get it and we can have a sustainable model because right now you have arguments over spending and you have arguments over tax increases nobody is willing to deal with the things that matter and that is the most expensive part of our government that we could shut down everything and still not be able to balance the budget that is the cold hard facts i'm john layfield i approve this message LayfieldReport.com. Get all your news. Sign up for the newsletter.